New research has found that some Greenland sharks may be older than the United States. Scientists estimate that the sharks from Greenland, which live in the North Atlantic, can possibly live to about 400 years old. Charlie Daggett is in London with how this revelation could help scientists learn more about aging in us humans. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. We'll spare a thought for a shark that had to wait 150 years to have sex, and that happened around the time of the Revolutionary War. They only grow half an inch a year, so scientists knew they were long in the tooth. Then they got a closer look. What is wow. that? Wow. Like They've been oh, lurking wow. in the depths oh, for centuries, looking more like half blind, weather beaten rocks than killer sharks. In the ice cold waters of the Arctic and North Atlantic, they prey mostly on smaller fish. Their only predator is other Greenland sharks. The scientists say they determine the ages of the sharks by looking deep into their eyes. The lens is made up of proteins that build up over time. Using radiocarbon dating, they were able to count them out like rings on a tree. They estimated the largest shark was most likely 392 years old give or take 120 years. Dr. David Agus said they found one important timestamp. They could see carbon initially going to the 1960s when nuclear bombs were being tested off Greenland and we could see the radiation in the eyes there. And We can go deeper and estimate that it's three to 400 years when these sharks were actually born. That's before George Washington was but a twinkle in his father's eye. In fact, around the same time, the actual Galileo started staring up at the stars. Sure, Ming the Clam lived to 507 before scientists killed it, finding out how old it was, but clams have no backbone. Jonathan the Galapagos tortoise is a mere whippersnapper at 184. And understanding the Greenland shark's secret to a long life might help with our own longevity. Well, these sharks are still functioning into their hundreds and attacking their prey, eating it, and living. To them, it's a normal life. And so we have to learn from them. And if we can learn from these outliers, hopefully each of us can live better. Maybe a varied diet is the key. The sharks have been found with the remains of polar bears, reindeer, even a moose in their stomachs. They'll gobble up just about anything that slides off the ice. Jeff? <laughs> A Charlie, moose. thank you very much. A moose in the stomach. A whole moose? A whole moose. A whole moose. Right. Wow. <laughs> Who of us at the table is going to tell Dr. David Agus he doesn't need to wear a sweater at the beach? Well, it could be a breeze. It can be cool. I think you oh, just did. You to, you know, you <laughs> no, I didn't tell him. I asked one of us is going to tell him. I'll do it. Fine. Okay, Jeff. <laughs>